Diane asked me to. Oh, okay. Thank you. So everybody knows Maggie Duffy Durkin, but <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Maggie, for coming and doing this presentation oh, you're welcome. today. Yeah, I know I'm excited about it, and I'm sure everybody is really interested. Thank you. So well, thank you. All right. Hey. Hey. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. I think of you now as a very select group of elite people who are going to learn a lot about communication. So. Um, I teach team building here at the college, so this is one of the reasons why I um, do workshops like what we're going to do, and what I do in my class, and I do it for every class, um, we have an agenda for the day. So obviously we're not here for the day, we're here for a couple hours, and my style is to not lecture a lot. I know you've been lectured at. To me, I um, I do better if I'm able to interact, right? If I'm really able to process the information, talk with other people. Um, it also keeps me, we were talking about how to keep yourself engaged. It also keeps me engaged. So that's really my method of teaching. So I'm going to lecture in a very minimal way. But our subject today, the impact of communicating differently on team cohesion and productivity. So I'm a huge believer of I'll you just do this. Am I still in it? I'm a huge believer in um, finding out about things about yourself, and that's how, number one, it's great to find out about yourself and how you communicate, how you process information, how do you react to different situations, but it can really impact how you're dealing with other people. Um, one of the reasons why I do some of the things that we're going to do today in my class because it's really important in the class for people to learn about themselves but also to figure out who else is in the room because they don't know who they're going to be working with. Similar to how you know in our work situations when we have uh, new colleagues come in and out you're just not sure how are we going to gel now. Our team really was gelling before or maybe our team wasn't gelling before and now this is a great opportunity for something new. So. It's one of the reasons why I do it. So, overview what to expect. I'm doing a little of that now. Um, then we're gonna get into an activity called True Colors, which some of you may have done before. Um, when I present it in class, I really think of it as uh, a less scientific and uh, much easier to understand Myers-Briggs type of personality um, inventory. It's We'll go over it in just a minute. It is really on you to um, go over, come up with some answers, and based on that information, we divide you up into colors. So we're going to do that in a minute. Then we're going to do a, a couple different activities, and then we're going to debrief. So actually, after acti each activity, we debrief a little bit, but we'll get together back at the end and really go over some of the things that you've encountered, hopefully learn some stuff, or just some things that were reinforced about your personality. So that's how I like to do things. But I encourage you, if you have questions about anything at all that I'm doing, that I'm explaining or not explaining enough, please let me know. Because one thing I always tell my students, I know exactly what I'm saying and what I mean. It is really crucial that you know what I'm saying and what I mean. So if I'm giving a direction and I know what it is, that's not the important thing. The important thing is you all understand. So that's what we're going to do. Any questions? No? Okay. I love a smiley group. There's always somebody in the front row, and I feel badly because I'm got to be smiling in the front row. And usually they are, unless someone comes in late and then they're just like, oh, I can't believe I'm in the front row. And you're like, <laughs> Which also happens. Um, so we're going to move over this. So one of the big reasons that um, I like to give people information on their personality is not only does it inform how they communicate, but as I was saying, you know, all sorts of work situations, but also how people are dealing with conflict too. So we may get into a little bit of that. Um, you're going to have some information to take away with you about that, and hopefully we'll be able to have another workshop about that because that's super, super important. So what I'm going to have everybody do, first of all, we're going to get right into true colors. So as you can see, I don't talk at you that much. Very brief on the talking at to talk well. So this is a word sort. Um, 
But there are directions at the top. But if you're like me, I don't always read the directions. I just jump right into it, and then I have to go back and find out what, right? The shortcut directions, that's me right here. So what you're going to do, um, and I know several of you have done this before, you're going to go through this word sort, and you're basically going to pick the grouping that is the most like you and assign the value of four. So it's going to go four, three, two, one for each row. So you can't have like a four and a four. You can. Every once in a while people do that. That's not how you do it. So if this is the most like you, that gets a four. If that's the next one, it gets a three, two, and a one. You're going to do that for every single row. And then you are, when you're done with that, you're going to put the numbers on these little sheets. So these little sheets will be telling you not so much what you are, but what colors. You may be clearly one color. We did this one year, years ago, and I remember Bruce Baker was all gold. Bruce Baker was as gold as you can be. Those of you who was like the goldest. The goldest? That's not a word. The most gold, that is, those are two words. So it's very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, I've had people come out evenly all four. That's, there's no right or wrong answer, right? There's no right or wrong personality or characteristics. It's very, I find it very interesting. So I'm going to have you do that first. I also have a definition sheet because, and this happens to me sometimes too, I'm a, I'm a great one for finding what, out what things are if they're in a sentence. If they're not in a sentence, sometimes I'm like, is that that or is it that? It's really close. So if anybody would like one of these to look at, and they're not alphabetical, they're in order of how they appear. I have a ton of those too. Any questions so far? Yeah. Um, I think I'm actually. What I'm going to do is, Ray, start with you passing one out. Oh, thank you. I was just going to start with Tracy and have her go around and pass those. Yeah. Oh, no, just sit and pass. You do not have to. Yeah. Pass. Cool. So take one, then you can do an answer sheet in just a second. I will need to borrow. Or actually, you know what? And I do have pens. Let me do this. I do have, I have a box of pens, too. Anybody else need a pen? <laughs> oh, thank you, Sharon. Anybody else need a pen? Pen, pen, or needle. Oh, wait, did you need a Thank you. Prenatal parental. Would anyone like a, a definition sheet just in case? I would. I would. Definition sheets, I think, are mega helpful. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. No, seriously? I was going to say, where's that? Anything else? Like, personality. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I think everybody's coming up. Oh, yeah. Another one, another one? Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Because I have yours. That's the way it is. But I don't share. Oh, good to know. All right, know about that. Thank you.
to do is then making sure everybody's done and not starting prematurely or not like <clears throat> leaving three quarters of the group going, are we going to start? So, so um, now some of you I know really well and I can kind of guess probably what you are and I may be totally wrong for others so I am not going to do something like that. I'm not, although I just did, right? Um, would anyone like to volunteer? Actually, let me let me rescind that. Is there anybody who is very clearly one color? Like the number is much higher than the others. Wow, all the way around. Jackie, what, what's your one color? I'm blue. You're blue. Ray, how about you? I'm gold. You're gold. I'm Ruth Baker. <laughs> you are Ruth Baker. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I know, it's just very oh, like super. What, what's your next number? Is the uh, blue. Okay, so that's close. Jackie, how about you? I was a 20 at blue and an 11 at green. So you're as blue as you can be. Mm -hmm. Sarah? Gold. Gold? Very gold? Uh, 18 gold, 13 green. Wow. I, I found this very amusing because when I did this a long time ago, yeah. I was very solid blue. You were? Yes. Really? But now as a, as a much older green, the 19. So, like, that is super interesting. <laughs> that is super interesting. Has anyone else done it from, like, way back when? Mm -hmm. I think mine was pretty similar to what it was. I don't remember exactly, but I think pretty similar. And I'm very spread amongst everything except the orange. <laughs> That's, is anyone yeah, else I, I, uh, I very, has times. two colors that are very close? <laughs> yes. Okay. Jeff, do you mind volunteering? They're all pretty close. Are they? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I did this right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the green was the, the most. The green was the most? Did you have, like, another color was super close? Well, I went, no, the green was 14, blue 13, gold 12, orange 11. You're very, <laughs> very even. Anybody? Yeah, you make awesome. a beautiful graph. <laughs> I was. Uh, green 13, gold 13, orange 12, blue 12. Wow. So she has a tie when she so goes, who am I? <laughs> Emma, we don't get to that. Not specifically who you are, okay. but yeah. Um, yeah. I was um, <clears throat> even 16 and 16, orange and blue. Oh. Everything else kind of like. Like, uh -huh. okay. These are really interesting. So, but good question. If you have a tie, what do you do for our next activity? Because our next activity, as you, I'm sure you all can figure out, is dividing up by colors. So I'm just going to ask those of you who are tied. Actually, who is tied? Just like one person? Two. Three. <laughs> for your Wait, highest. Are you all sitting together? <laughs> okay, tied for your highest. You Just for the sake of the activity, pick a color. Please. What are they? Like, do we need to know or No, you're not going to know yet. Okay, we're just going with I am not going to tell you yet. 
but thank you for that, for, for reminding me, because that's usually what I've found throughout the years. There are a couple colors that are really, um, not anxious, but a little less flexible about me not giving the answers at the beginning. And I don't get the answers at the beginning. And then there are a couple other colors who just go with it. Because, yeah, whatever. We're just going to go with it, and that's fine. So I don't give the answers. I'm not going to give the answers for a while. So we're going to do, I'm going to have you get up, um, go to your colors, orange, green. I'll get gold in the corner. You probably can't see it. Five passes of the lid. Like That's we're not like you know, looking down on orange because we don't have an orange person here. And it felt more like that's the right place. Then that is what I want you to do. That's perfectly cool. I um, once did this in a class, and I'd never seen this before. It was in Karen, one of Carrie Walker's <laughs> FYE classes. And I had a student, and he was all by himself. And it was green. <laughs> gold, gold, hello, over here. So it was green, and the young guy was just like standing. I've never seen this before. I'll do it over here so it's not uncomfortable. <laughs> just stood yeah, like this. Good. Just stood. Carrie and I are looking at each other like, wow, I've never seen this before. What is he going to do someday? I don't know. It was crazy. He just, he couldn't, he just could not write anything. And so in the debrief, he just said, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I like, I don't. And then I broke everybody up into groups where, you know, it was a little bit of everybody. And then, he looked down and he goes, oh, I did this wrong. I'm that color. So he couldn't do it because he was like, I, I don't know. I, this, it was, he was so befuddled and it was very interesting. So we had a great discussion about that. Okay, so you're in your colors. What I want you to do is really, this is an activity that is for you to show everyone else in the room what it means to be your color. So I'd love for you to come up with a flag that is everything gold. Now, not like gold coins and things like that, or blue sky, but what does it mean to be your color? So what is it that you value? What if I was looking at blue, I would see certain things and go, okay, I know what it means to be that color. Is that clear? Right? Yeah. So you're like, what? What is? What are things that we? What are things that we like? What are things that we value? What is it about us that makes us so awesome? Like I, I, I am gold and blue, so I cannot help either side of this. These are washing machines that you're actually using. So it's really, I find it fascinating how people interpret stuff. So, and you may know this already. Based on, here you go. Hi, ESB. Yes, take one and pass them out. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we can have a little more. 
Again next year. <laughs> okay. You got one back there. All right. I don't know. So, tour has the world. No, has your name on it. So some of the answer sheets. Let's see, your handout starts with blue. If you only had done what I told yeah, you. I mean, <laughs> so blue, we saw blue in the we saw blue, we saw the harmony, recognition of uniqueness personal growth and development, the only thing that stops you from being your best is you, right? Blue is all about support and equity, um, peace, harmony. You saw that. You heard that from the blue group. You heard it. Let's see. And I tried to do front to back to use these things. Now, here's the sad thing about not having an orange person, because seriously, when orange reads, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, does not matter the age of the orange person. The orange person's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but I did. It. it was cool. I had a good time. Literally, does not matter the age of the person. They're still like, yeah. So, um, natural entertainer uses a practical approach. Quick reactor to problems. Like we, you know, in a group that that has a lot of orange, they're usually like, woo, yeah, fun. They get bored and restless. This is what I was talking about beforehand. The structure, like they need to be engaged. They truly need to be engaged. Natural performers. Um, Orange is also a real um, change agent, which is fascinating, as is green. I'll put up green. But the way orange looks at making change is orange will take like the, the all the blocks and just throw them up and see where they land, right? Green is like, let's look at the process. Let's, let's get all the information. Um, here's my goal. We'll come back to my gold. Yeah, green. Trust me. Intelligence, logical, clarity. Right? Loves new technology. Perfectionist. Independent thinker. So my green people, does this kind of sound like you? I am drawn to constant change in careers. I like to develop models. Green really loves the details as well. Multitasking. Big picture. Let's go back up to gold. Hello. Sorry. Hi. Uh, these people are with um, CDC and uh, Senator Sheehy. Yeah. And uh, we need to grab those flags. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, go right ahead. Thank in the middle of a workshop. I know. I'm sorry. Yep. Fine. Okay, so for gold, organizing the world. We had a lot of gold in here, right? Right? Um, did I have anybody that was gold in another color? You were three. You were gold in. Gold and green. Gold and blue. You were a bunch of them. Gold was my second. Gold was your second. Amy, you were three. Were you three? Yeah. Orange, blue, and gold. Like across 14, 14, 14. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Which one of the, now I know you went to blue. Which one of these, as you're looking at the answers, do you think, I mean, can you say, oh, that's clearly me, or is it really I two? I think it's really blue and orange. Is it blue and orange? Yeah. And not gold? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, yes and no, but. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it worked. It's. Yes. It is, it is very funny. I, as I said before, I'm gold and blue by a point. No matter how many times I've done this, only once has blue been a little bit higher, and I mean literally by a point. So when we go over this in class, and the students are like, oh, you're gold, ooh. And I said, let me, let me just explain that. So the gold in me has a syllabus, puts up an agenda every week, um, has a very clear plan. The blue in me, when you don't do your homework, is like, well, I just want to know what Way. But then the gold in me comes in and is like, you need to do your homework. We have assignments. We have stuff to get done. Yeah. I want to suggest though for teaching, and that's really important. Those two pieces are really important. Organization and having organized yeah. piece that you're delivering, but then also understanding your students and understanding what their needs are. And you really kind of see how both of those are. You do, they do, but 
Thank you. Thank you, Gail. Um, they really know the blue and me is like, I value you. Everything's great. And see, we need that. We do need that. Um, it, it, thank you, and I, I'm a firm believer in that. I think you need a little bit of every color to really like just deal with all these different situations. I have two super uh, close friends who are very type A, extremely gold people, and when I'm with them, I'm not gold at all because I don't have to be. Right? So they're like, we're leaving here, this is what we're getting for dinner, we're da, da, da. I'm like, this is good. I can just be blue or anything else. I don't have to be in control of this situation. So um, for those of you who are like a few different colors, do you feel, and I know I just asked Amy, do you feel like it is situational depending on which one's gonna come out? Um, it was funny, I did this with my kids. Now I'm thinking, I know my kids. I was wrong about one of them, which is really <laughs> funny. Cool, you're masquerading one way at home, but this is the way you really are. Um, I know Andrew said he did this when he was much younger and had and, different and results. To, to make the point, if you read the part about in childhood, yeah. in childhood I was blue. In childhood I you were blue. I fit the blue description in childhood, I did not fit the childhood description for green. Ah! That is interesting. I know, this is one of those things, I think the first time I did it I was definitely an older adult. Um, and I did it with um, some students at a student leadership conference. But it would be interesting to see, okay, yeah. you know, when you do Myers-Briggs with people, they are, no matter the age of the person, the, you're supposed to answer that as if you were a 15 or 16 year old, oh. which, yeah, which is crazy because it's like, but okay, real life me gets in the way of answering these questions and then I have to go back and go, but 15 year old me would have done it this way. So it's, it kind of skews. Um, how it is, so that's really interesting. Um, what's the other one? The other piece you guys have, the last sheet is leadership styles, which I really find interesting too. So for leadership styles, and you may be able to see who your supervisor is as you're looking in this, or if your supervisor is in the one with us. Um, I in the past have had I had an extremely blue supervisor when she would get us all together, and this was part of like a regional program I worked in, she would get us all together and we would have a check-in. Like we'd spend 20 minutes doing the check-in. How is everybody? How are you? How are your children? What's happening? And not that I, I didn't want to know that, I just didn't want to drive 45 minutes to spend the first 25 minutes that. The goal to me was like, can we just can we just get to why we're together? I will check in and find out how everything is at the end. I definitely want to know. I just don't want to know at the beginning. It's driving me crazy. So she she and I had a conversation about. It. I said, you're killing me with this at the beginning. You just are. Um, and so we changed things a little bit because then it got to the point of. All right, if our meeting's at 9, but we're not really starting until 9.30, why am I killing myself to be? Yeah, so we had a really good conversation about it. It was still super important, I think, to all of us in our group, but it did not for, and I was not the only one who was frustrated with the check-ins at the beginning, so we just adjusted a little bit. Um, I've also had an extremely green supervisor, and... Uh, who used to teach FYE when I would come into her classes and do it, we would laugh about that. She was so super, super duper green. She's like, oh yeah, that's me, that's me. So also to be aware of, always wanted to know um, like what's going on, what task rele relevancy, right? So you can't come up to somebody who's green and go, hey, just put this together, it'll be fun. Why are we doing it, right? What is the point? When I do true colors in classes, a lot of times I take out like really bizarre blocks and I have people make things. So you can just tell the people in the room who are green because they're just like, why? why am I playing with blocks? I, am, I, I don't understand. And the gold people are like, okay, 10 minutes of blocks, that's fine. We need to move on though. Yeah. And the orange are like, blocks, blocks are inside. <laughs> <laughs> can we play with blocks more? Yeah. Um, so you can see it. When you have an orange supervisor or even an orange colleague, right, they, quick action. They're flexible. So some of the other colors may be like, here's our process. Here's our procedure. 
we need to stick to it. If we're going to change it, we really need to look at all the details. Orange is like, let's change it, let's throw it, let's do it. They get right into it. So orange and green are really agents for change, but how they go about change, super, super different. Green, very detailed. Very, very detailed. Um, okay. That is in your handout. There is another piece that I am, let's see. I have one more sheet to hand to you, but I really like this. How we see ourselves and how others see us, right? So when it comes down to, all right, you're looking at some of these colors and thinking, I am so glad this color is in here because I could not work with that person. Don't have all three of them. I mean, all four, can I look at it? Now, for my gold, is there a color that you think when you, you were kind of talking about or when you're looking at, do you think that you might have, it might be a little more challenging to work with gold? Sarah? I am married to an orange. I am married to an orange, too. <laughs> you married to an orange? Here's a blue. Your <laughs> Is that a challenge? Sometimes. 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 But it's so opposite. We also balance opposite. each other yeah. out. Because he's very, very big picture and I am very detailed. Like, and so I think we do balance each other out and I imagine that would work in the workplace. It's a great combination, right? But it's also being aware of why someone is behaving the way that person is, which to me I think is like super important. So as I said at the beginning, I love to do this with whether it's my students or you know, colleagues, outside people. So you learn a little bit about yourself, but it does inform also how you're reacting to other people. And then you can maybe look around the room now and go, that is why that person does this when this happens, right? It's not that, again, no good, no bad. It's just we are very different. So um, how about my blues? Although, blue, you're so chill. Um, is there a particular color or colors that you think might it might be a bit of a challenge to work with? I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things I like the things that frustrate me are definitely up there, like lying and violence. Not a fan. No <laughs> personal rejection. Like I don't like it when yeah. others do bad things to others. Like if it. Like, I hate it when people have a lack of self-awareness and how they impact the world and those around them. So that, like, yeah. if somebody has that quality, then yeah. I'm like, okay, we gotta have a talk, let's have an intervention, we can have cookies and coffee, but we gotta change. So, so you, you might conflict with a gold person, though, that is being too judgmental. Right. Or being bossy and controlling. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll have tea with them. And okay. things that frustrate, and I just shared what frustrated me about my blue supervisor. Right? Avoiding conflict, very passive. It wasn't necessarily a lack of planning, but there wasn't as much planning as I would have liked. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, but it's interesting. So, lack of communication, someone who's blue may sit down with somebody who is bothering him and her and go, hey, let's talk about this. But one of the other colors may be like, I don't like to do, I don't. Like the small talk. I don't want to sit there and talk about this. Do not. Um, how about my greens? I can't. <laughs> because it's not correct. <laughs> it's not complete. And then I'm cutting out the gold. Oh, we're about green. Okay, we're talking about green. There we go. Would you care to share your comments with the rest of the group? <laughs> no. We're talking about Illogical talking. arguments are about very stuff. frustrating. Mm -hmm. I was not talking. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't like small though. So, I, see, I like small talk. I'm you, just terrible at it. Oh, so that's interesting. Yeah. It doesn't frustrate me. I just suck. <laughs> That's one of the reasons Andrew and I became friends is because we both suck at small talk, and when we identified that fact, we just moved right past it. But see, that that's super key, though, right? Because that's a level of comfort going, nah, I'm not good at this, me either. Oh, that's awesome. We don't have to do it. Whereas, you know, 
sometimes other colors are like, oh, we have to do it. We're all together. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you to the to the other end of, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. Um, I don't have any orange here. Yeah, things orange do, does that frustrate others. Thinking out loud. Impulse buying, being undisciplined, ignoring rules. Again, when I have like a room full of orange students, I know I'm in for a very interesting semester. Let's just put it that way. And I need to adapt. Yes. I have an example of orange behavior. Oh, go ahead. Do tell. So every time we go to a zoo and there is an animal that is able to be pet and has a sign that says, do not pet me, I bite. My husband has pet every single animal. <laughs> Even though he gets bit by every single animal, because eventually the animal gets, he's like, eventually it'll stop biting me and I can pet it. He's not wrong. <laughs> That's like reloading, right? It will stop, but oh my god. It seems like a good idea at the time. Yep. <laughs> It does! Honestly, every single time an orange for a really true orange person reads it, they're like, yeah, that is me. That is me. Uh, the other piece I'm just going to hand out in this is for you all to see is really more about, okay, now you know who's in the room and who you're working with. Now it's more about, okay, how do we all get together and get along and succeed as working with these other types of folks from us? Or you're welcome. Or the people who are just like us. Sometimes it can be frustrating working with people who are just like you. I do. I can send that out. You're welcome. I can definitely send that out. So succeeding with the orange individual. Yeah, this is something like if you keep at your desk to go, okay, this is and also working with students, right? Everybody in here has dealings with students or potential students or people who come in from the outside. So and not that I expect you to go, oh, I figured out your color right off the bat. But if you're seeing some characteristics, you can say, okay, this is how I can be successful in working with this person, even if it's you know for the next half an hour or on a regular basis, right? Succeeding with the golden individual. Be truthful. As a goal, I can tell you, my expectation is that you are going to do what you're supposed to do. And when you don't, I don't understand. I don't. Like, why aren't you doing what you're supposed to do? And be loyal. <laughs> right? Blue. Blue is all about equity. Green. But honestly, it's like little helpful tips. Little helpful tips that hopefully will work. So, your takeaway from today, when you can understand why others react differently to stress, change, or conflict, it can be the start of a, a real team cohesion. So, just... I've given you some examples of that. That's a, that is like an ongoing thing that we can keep doing. You know, how does somebody react to conflict? Some people are like, head on, that's great, let's get, let's get going here. Or stress, and others are like, no, 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 no. Why is my colleague reacting this way when we need to do this? Because his or her personality is not the same as yours. Um, embracing our diverse strengths can lead to an increase in productivity and more enjoyable work environment. I can tell you when I do, I do this at the very beginning, usually at the second or right around the second class, and then we are always referring back to it because then we layer on to what we get into. We get into the Myers Briggs and we, we do some other things. And it's always nice for people to go, okay, that's why this person is doing that. And it just really leads to um, better team cohesion throughout the course of the semester. So I it does that with all of us. So any questions? My sources. Which I thought, oh my gosh, have I, have I cited that correctly? I bet he's not here. <laughs> Sharon is. So Sharon, I was on OWL yesterday going, am I doing that right? Um, yeah, any questions? I'm happy to 
send out um, I, that one thing I have in my email, and this too I can scan it if anybody's interested in it. Well, you guys can put it in your booklets. Uh, did anybody not sign in? Okay. Oh. Start with you go. Thank you.